Okay, so this is the beginning of building a HydroTrack 14. So I got the whole front end and everything taken off of the HydroTrack 12. And that is right here. So, oh, wrong zoom setting there. So this is going to end up going on something else and I can use that in uh, another project. And then uh, basically the entire front end that matches that that's out there. It's going to come off of this one and go on here. I just got the fluid actually drained out of the rear end just before I split it in half. And it had really nice looking red automatic transmission fluid. So that was kind of weird because that's not actually what they're supposed to have. But it would work. Um, so this other tractor here, um, something I actually noticed on just now. I thought the whole time I've had it, something looked weird with the hood. But if you see right here you look at the way it almost looks pyramid shaped on the side I have never seen that before and then you look at this other hood it's more square so this is the style of hood that they always are and this one here I mean it looks like a pyramid on how it's shaped kind of here see on how it's it's weird I've never seen that I asked the question on Facebook in a group and like a few minutes ago, so maybe at the end of the video, I'll uh, explain exactly what's going on. Maybe somebody knows, but I just thought I'd show you that because I thought that was kind of cool. But yeah, I will get this tractor split in half and the front end off of this ready to go on that hydro, and I'll come back when... Okay, right. as you can see, I got the front end of the SS14 taken off, and it is over here on the hydro. So something I noticed that uh, I wasn't planning on and it kind of sucks. I thought these floorboards were going to somewhat line up. But it turns out that if it's a stick shift, the floorboard is quite a bit longer than a hydro. So, yeah. I was expecting to have to cut basically right here. But it looks like everything is completely different. So I'm guessing what I'm probably going to do is just have these normal stick shift style floorboards. And just kind of put them on like that and it'll just kind of look like that so kind of sucks because I wanted it to look better than that but I guess whatever and something I was pretty sure I was gonna have to do was drill some holes right there and right there since this is an older frame compared to this part and you can see on the inside that it doesn't quite line up so I'm going to Get a few more things done and okay back. so you can tell that i got the engine and everything in there that frame is just sitting there kind of like that i got some new oil in the transmission and engine actually i, I had it running carburetor definitely needs to be cleaned because it runs like complete garbage the only way to have it running is basically take the throttle and go up and down really fast on it but uh i had it up in the air I pushed the release down and then uh, I actually jacked it back down to the floor and I had these two little things here, the uh, chuck blocks, and it actually drove up and over on them so the hydro is good. So since the engine does run and the rear end is good, I can go on with the restoration on this. So this is going to be kind of a short video so I'm actually going to just end the video right here. Next video you see I'm going to be taking this thing apart and actually uh, doing a full restoration on this one exactly how it should be so yeah thanks for watching